Hello everyone, my name is Josh and we are doing another MVP Spotlight here from MVP Summit. With me, Greg Sheridan. Greg, thanks, thanks for Josh. joining. Hi everybody. Good to have you on. Thank you. Um, we are going to be talking a little bit about something Greg created and that uh, I use a whole bunch. We actually were just testing it ahead of time and I realized how many passwords I don't remember because I use this product on my other laptop all the time. So we'll get into that in a second. Um, Greg, how long have you been an MVP? Uh, coming up to five years, hopefully. All right. So we're all, uh, all due for renewal on the 1st of July. So we're yeah, hoping right. to, uh, to knock up uh, five years now. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll be. So I kept moving my hat and uh, my head and uh, the course of So this was uh, my homage to uh, to you and the hat. But, I, um, and I, it, it was touching. It was, it was touching. Much. <laughs> our, right. our picture on Twitter is already circulating. Yeah, if I think, you can't so. beat him, join him. I think yeah. and, uh, that's where I took the hat. As a you know, traditional Aussie cork hat. Yeah. You and your Stetson. Yeah. So the meeting of two cultures. That's awesome. That is, you know, I don't think you actually told me the uh, tradition there. So we're gonna. Have to... uh, so it's surprising, actually. A few people here have not uh, not actually realized what's going on. Yeah, time. I have no idea. This so. is uh, sort of traditional, a little bit uh, out of out of sorts these days. But uh, the whole point of the cork is not to do yourself permanent eye damage, uh, but oh. it's to actually keep flies out of your face when you're. <laughs> it's. It was that uh, is yeah, you, you used a uh, hundred plus years ago. Yeah, more common in uh, uh, yeah, remote driving communities and what have you. Yeah. And probably before we had uh, modern uh, modern uh, pest repellents and uh, uh, yeah. maybe before farmers were actually in uh, air conditioned tractors and things like that. But uh, otherwise, you'll find Australians and you'll you'll notice this uh, on news reports from say rural Australia where everyone's doing the Aussie salute all the time. It's because they're just trying to bat away the flies. Otherwise, you end up with these things on you. And, and there is a health risk. Flies aren't the healthiest of, uh, of insects out there. Um, so it's either the Aussie salute, the hat, or uh, yeah, uh, that, boot that, yourself up in uh, uh, pistol that, that context really helps. Because <laughs> before knowing that, I was just thinking, what in the world's going on with that? <laughs> I've had people here at the summit just, well, when I explained it, they went, oh, they actually got it. They just thought they were some idiot wandering around with a cork hat on, I guess that's true there. But <laughs> I know there's a whole point to uh, uh, to the cork. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad to finally know that. <laughs> wow, okay. And and you're coming from where now? Uh, from Sydney, Australia. Sydney. Uh, I was oh. actually born in the bush. I was born 400 k's, three, uh, 260 odd miles. Really? From Sydney on a sheep and wheat farm. Wow, you, okay. You can tell because I migrated to IT. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I was never going to yeah. be a farm kid, and uh, yeah, I've been in uh, telephony and IT ever since I left school. Wow, okay. And, yeah, the All last right. nearly five years, uh, now a Microsoft MVP. Awesome, okay. Great, let's yeah. let's dive into what you've done. Okay. Um, we're going to focus on the product you've created here, but mm -hmm. aside from the product, you also have done a ton of blogging. I know mm -hmm. I've used your blogs on more than one occasion, as many others Thank have you. as well. As I have yours. Uh, and uh, <laughs> my blogs are a little sparse these days, but uh, a little more on the video side. but. Um, so yeah, let's go over to sharing okay. screen, and we are talking about Bounsky, which is the newer name for it. Um, yes. And we are here at Bounsky.com slash history, history page. I'm going to go ahead and let you explain the history a little bit, though. So, uh, well, the, the, the page here uh, explains it all. When I was first working with uh, Link 2010 uh, some six or so years ago now, um, I was really annoyed that I'm deploying Link for customers and I have yeah. to keep signing out of one deployment and then back into our own and then maybe into another one or I'm doing some trouble tickets on yeah. another deployment I need to keep signing. That got tiring very quickly. <laughs> yes. And uh, I realized that the, the API, the application programming interface for, uh, uh, for the Link client, supported the ability to sign out and sign in through code and I went, won't this be handy if I can find a shortcut for this and that's, where, moment. Yeah. that's where Profiles for Link was born and uh, I love to look at the uh, the old V1 of uh, Profiles for Link there with its 10 sites and that was the maximum it would go to. Okay. So yeah. it's changed a little bit since then. Um, it will now uh, cater for up to 80 sites and okay. I, st I still have people wanting more. Um, I'm not sure what they're doing, but they want more than eight. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, so if you're getting to that extreme, you can probably page out and page back in okay. uh, config settings just as a CSV file. Um, Did you cover it right in here? Yep. That, yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, you can from uh, from the keyboard. I've, I've fully keyboard shortcut enabled it. You can drive it from the command line as well, so you can batch it, you can schedule it. Okay. Uh, you can if you want, and I've been very tempted to do this late on a Friday afternoon. 
uh, schedule, run a schedule to log me out at half past four so that I don't get hit by the nasty five o'clock surprise. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, log me out at half past four automatically and, uh, and then I'll you know, continue finish up, wide out the week, and I'm, I'm not going to be hit by the surprise. So yeah. Um, yeah. I've, I've built all of these sorts of things into it, and uh, it is uh, essentially of my own doing. There's quite a bit of Stack Overflow code in there. Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, I, I have quite a lot of input from the community as well. Um, particularly, I guess, MVPs, um, they have been uh, particularly helpful. I guess MVPs are often the people who are wanting to sign into yeah. and out of a lot of different accounts at the same time. Right. Uh, but I get a lot of suggestions from them. Um, some of them sound really interesting and easy to do and turn out to be quite onerous. Um, thank you for <laughs> requesting the colour scheme change, guys. Uh, and others uh, others I've added and it, it staggers me that it's taken me so long to add them. So I really yeah. do appreciate that sort of user feedback. I love the MVPs who've also helped me translate this into, I think I've got about half a dozen different languages in there oh, at the okay. moment. Wow. So it automatically picks up the language from Windows and changes itself into... Nice. Uh, you know, Italian, Norwegian. I seem to have quite a lot of the Scandi states covered. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's uh, just the contribution from uh, from other MVPs helping uh, make my product work uh, yeah, more natively for them. So yeah. it's, a, it's a win-win. That That is awesome. And the problem that it addresses is one that is all too common and, and such a pain point. Before I even knew this product existed, I it was experiencing the same pain over mm -hmm. and over mm -hmm. again. When I discovered it, I, I was just like, it was one of those, you just heard a chorus oh, singing, moments, and yeah, yeah it, was, it was beautiful. <laughs> um, and so this is this is the actual Bounsky site. Yep. But if we go over, you have also, we can download the product from yes, here. Yes, yes. Um, There's a user guide, detailed user guide there, um, some troubleshooting, a few FAQs okay. on yeah. the site as well. Uh, but it, you also have provided it uh, freely available as well out here yeah. on the TechNet Gallery. Yeah, so that's where it started uh, off. Um, You're right. And I sort of spun it off into its own site to give it a bit more, uh, uh, yeah, that backup information, the support, and what have you. Right. I actually did that because I was hoping to release a mobile version because of the product improvement requests I get, one of the major ones is when's the mobile version coming up. Ah, uh, yeah. And I thought it would make sense to uh, build that all together into the one website. Unfortunately, the API for the mobile client doesn't permit oh, control of sign yeah. in, sign out. So yeah. unfortunately, I'm completely hamstrung. Yeah. I actually do have a shell of a mobile client written for uh, Android and Apple <laughs> that saves your credentials, yeah. lets you click, but doesn't actually do anything to the um, to the mobile client. But if Microsoft does get around to adding yeah. that functionality, you would be ready to I'm, go. I'm absolutely there. And of course, if it's available in the, in the uh, Apple Store for a dollar. It might make me a hundred air. There you so go. So I could retire. Well, you know, I mean, between we've got, we've got uh, profiles for link down here. So I just yep. search for Bounsky and, yep. and both come up here. Uh, you've got a, a nice handy couple thousand downloads uh, already mm -hmm, on Bounsky. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it doesn't display those numbers here for profiles. Uh, I've but removed, I'm, yeah, I've removed the download okay. from profiles. That's ah, why gotcha. it's not visible. Yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we have for, for posterity's sake here. Yes. But, uh, um, well, that's for the sake of my, uh, my cats. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but uh, for the, um, for, for as far as having your hands tied on the mobile side of things, mm -hmm. The, that begs the question, when when will there be a team ski? Well, <laughs> funny you should ask, it's, it's the same problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they haven't released an API that lets me do that sign in, sign out. Uh, I have been working with 1Password, my uh, password manager of choice for some time. Okay. We've hit a few stumbling blocks trying to get uh, 1Password to uh, pass those credentials into the uh, the Electron client. Okay. Um, but. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's still a work in progress. But yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to get them to uh, get the hooks better into yeah. into how Microsoft does that. So that'll take some of the pain off me. But yeah, the thing and, is, and off a ton for, of other for people. teams, it's yeah. really it, you only need SIP address and password. So it is a pretty rudimentary interface. Yeah. Whereas Skype for Business, there were a lot of other things. Well, for Link, there were a lot of other potential options there because we can specify um, uh, manual. Uh, DNS right. internal and external to override uh, or the auto discovery process. So yeah. it became a little more complex and sort of mandat uh, mandatory for, for Bounsky. Yeah. But um, yeah, Teams, it only needs a login name and a password. So your password manager sh should ideally be able to do that for you. Oh, so that's, that's not what I want to do. We'll go back over here really quick to our browser. What I wanted to do mm -hmm. before we jump back over to our, our regular cameras here, we're going to pull up Skype for Business and we're going to pull up Bounsky. Uh, 
and I've only got two two profiles loaded in here, not not 80, uh, so I'm not stretching the max. But just for simple demonstration purposes, I'm, I'm currently logged in mm -hmm. uh, with this with my Get CS Josh account. Yep. And with this is as simple as clicking two. Mm -hmm. I sit here for a second, and boom. Ta da! I am signed in to my other account. Uh, and of course, if, if Bounsky has the focus, you can just type one and it'll uh, change you back. It's a beautiful thing. It just uh, so makes that I've, whole I'm, painful problem. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of mouse. I love keyboard shortcuts for, for everything yeah. possible. So you can hit uh, shift or control to be uh, taken to the other tower. Sorry, it's not, not focused. Uh, there we go. Uh, shift, control, and alt to be taken to the, uh, the other nice. views as well. And the one feature I really love is the find feature. So control F takes you there and you can just type J and it's found a, a, an account that's using Josh. And again, you can just hit return and it takes you there automatically. And you know, if you've got 80, 80 different paced. logins in there, then that's really so helpful. So that's the thing, so. the, the shift control or what have you only show you visibly the first 40, everything else yeah. is sort of invisible in the background. Okay. So the only okay, way to get yeah. to them is through the find. Yeah. Um, no, that's, and so that's, that's, that's just a quick, um, a quick test drive. Yeah, and really quick, if we just go look at the setup, I mean, there's some other options in there as well, but mm -hmm. if we look at setup, this is kind of what it would look like to, yep. to put all your different profiles in there. You've got mm -hmm. an alias, name that whatever makes you think of the login, your uh, sign-in address, username and password, Yep. Uh, if you need to, specify the internal mm -hmm. external mm -hmm. server there if it's manual, but uh, yes, it's been a beautiful product for myself, uh, and, and I know many others sing your yep. praises yep. very often for this. Think, oh, look, and, I, uh, I, I love that other people find it as, as handy as I do. I mean, I, I wrote it for myself, uh, and it's been an absolute joy that um, that thing I wrote, I guess, selfishly for myself is something that, uh, that other people like as well. So thank you to everybody who does like it. Uh, please send the uh, uh, suggestions through. And if you would like uh, it translated into your own language, please let me know. Just uh, hit me up on Twitter at uh, Greg in Sydney. And if you want it to be a different color or something, you can no, also... No, 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 please, <laughs> please. That was so difficult. Uh, there's a lot of effort in some of this. But yeah, I mean, that's really the thing about some of this community stuff, right? Is it's you, you really do a lot of this for, your, for yourself. Like blogging is, for me at least, even doing videos, it's to help solidify the information in my mind, mm -hmm. uh, to help me learn, to help me remember. And, and that is, you do it to kind of help yourself, but then it's able to be shared with so many yeah, other people yeah. and make their lives easier. Well, it's one of the things I really love yeah. about uh, coming to the MVP Summit. It's to see yeah. all of the other MVPs who are here and to, um, you know, I guess, you get an opportunity yeah. to thank them in person for right. the contribution they've made to the community, which yeah. helps my customers, yes. but also helps me as well. And uh, so I, uh, all the things I provide to the other MVPs here is not just my own, yeah. but it's on behalf of my customers for whom they've made uh, life a bit easier as well. It, it is a, a unique experience and it's 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 an amazing thing but thank you Greg for coming on today thanks Josh appreciate it